I'm Evan Doherty, joined by Yahoo Sports Fantasy Gurus, Brad Evans and Brandon Funston. You guys recently held a very early mock draft with the Roto Arcade crew. Funston, in your mind, who was the biggest steal of that draft? Well, I'm very annoyed at my Yahoo colleagues first, I should say, because they all rank Rob Gronkowski inside their top 10 overall. Yet when it's time to put their money where their mouth is, none of them would touch the guy. So he falls to me at number 19, and that's just crazy good value for a guy that on a personal level as a Seahawks fan, I can't stand. But look it, I got to give it to the guy. He's pretty much a touchdown per game over his career. In fact, you look at the last 11 games last year, including the playoffs, he averaged 83 and a half yards and scored 11 touchdowns. So he was a TD per game. I've seen some experts rank him as high as number two overall. It's hard to you know go early on a tight end, but now you look at Jimmy Graham in Seattle, the expectation there, probably not gonna get as many targets as he did in New Orleans. So there's a huge discrepancy now between Gronkowski and the rest of the tight end class, and that just only pumps up his value even more. Like I said, 19 overall, really good deal on Gronk. Could be some fireworks in week one as the Patriots face the Steelers. And from Pittsburgh, Brad Martavius Bryant, he was a breakout rookie last year, and you got him at a good value in this draft. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't draft him. Uh, Dalton Del Don actually took him at pick number 52 overall, redeemed himself for that god-awful T.J. Yeldon pick. They took a couple of rounds earlier. Look, I love Martavis Bryant. I think he's going to supplant Marcus Wheaton as a number two uh, in this Todd Haley-run offense in Pittsburgh. This is a guy on a fantasy points per snap basis last year was number one among all wideouts. Yes, he was better than Odell Beckham Jr. by a wide margin in that category. And assuming he moves up the ladder in terms of the depth chart, I mean, I could easily see him go for 1,100 uh, receiving yards, uh, 12 to 15 touchdowns. Uh, given his length, his athleticism, his open field wheels, uh, he's an elite red zone weapon as well. I think he's going to flourish this season. I wouldn't be at all surprised if he finishes as a top 10 wideout alongside his incredible teammate, Antonio Brown. By Stock and Bryant, he will be a fantasy difference maker this year. You wish you had him, I should have said. And if Big Ben yes, is another I career wish. year, that could be a good call. Thank you, gentlemen. Now, don't forget, Yahoo Fantasy Football is open. Sign up by May 14th at sports.yahoo.com slash fantasy for a chance to win a trip to Las Vegas for National Draft Day. This is Yahoo Sports.